Hey there, I'm Morgan from Teachable, and today we're going to be talking about how you can appear and feel confident on camera. So many course creators opt to either use videos in their online course or use a platform like YouTube to build their audience and grow their following. And if that's the case, it's really important to feel comfortable on camera, but also appear comfortable and confident to your audience. With that said, today I'm going to be sharing my top video creation tips for all of you, talking about how you can feel more comfortable on camera and talking about little things you do that make you look more confident as well. I've been creating and posting videos for about three years now, and I've definitely come a long way in eliminating some of the little things that used to make me look really nervous and just feeling more confident in front of the camera as well. So I wanted to share everything I've learned in that time, and I broke it down into several key tips. The first tip I have for you is to sit down knowing what you're going to say. I've tried in the past to sit down and film videos and just kind of, you know, wing it and they're always rambly and awkward and I get nervous because I don't know what I'm going to say. And when that happens, there are just always a lot of, you know, ums or uhs and other vocal fillers and a bunch of awkward pauses that make the video not fun to edit and not fun to watch either. So personally, I film with an outline. I don't usually script out my videos unless it's a big topic, but I do outline the bullet points that I want to touch on and I've got that sitting on my lap whenever I am filming. You can opt to do that. You can write an entire script if that's what makes you more comfortable. It really just depends what you prefer. If you go with a script, you can have it printed out, you can have it on your lap, or you can download a teleprompter app for your iPad, or if you have a teleprompter just lying around, you could use that as well. One thing to note is you wanna make sure that you're looking at your script and then looking back up at the camera and saying your lines then and not just filming your entire video like this or like with a paper in front of your face because that's not gonna be fun for anyone to watch. My second tip is just practice before you record. This one might feel a little silly because you might just be talking to no one, but I really like to go over what I'm gonna say two or three times just to get the words like comfortable coming out of my mouth and figure out how I wanna phrase everything. If you're saying what you're filming for the very first time when you're filming it, a lot of times two things might happen. One, you're just gonna kind of sit there reading word for word and it might sound robotic, you know, like that. Or the second one is you're gonna realize that the way you type isn't the way you speak and now the words are just coming out really awkward because you're using a bunch of phrases you weren't normally gonna say and you're not gonna feel comfortable saying them. The third tip I have is don't look at yourself in the viewfinder. Uh, personally, I film on a Canon Rebel camera that has like a viewfinder that flips out. The viewfinder is great because I do film, you know, alone, so this helps make sure I'm in focus, that I'm lit in a way that's not totally offensive. But the pitfall of that is really easy to kind of get nervous and not want to stare at the lens, so then you just look to the side at the viewfinder, and it's harder for an audience to connect when you're not making eye contact with them. It almost feels just uncomfortable to watch and if you're not making that eye contact with your camera your videos aren't going to be as engaging and your audience isn't going to connect as well with you the fourth tip i have is be aware of your nervous tics and then don't give into them personally if i'm feeling nervous i'm going to touch my hair a lot i'm going to touch my face a lot my hands are just going to be like all up here almost like guarding myself from the camera so if i start to feel like my hands keep wandering up i'll just like clasp them and put them in my lap which is definitely hard for me as i'm someone who speaks with my hands but just be aware of what you do that makes you nervous and try to nip it in the bud. Um, another thing a lot of people do when they get nervous is they use a ton of vocal fillers. That's definitely something that can really shoot your confidence when you're trying to film. If, like it's you're feeling compelled to say um or uh or uh or like in between every single word. If you find that you're using a ton of vocal fillers and you really can't help it, I would say go back to step number two and practice a few times and definitely just try to slow down and get your words out. But always remember, if you're filming yourself and it's not live, you can always go back and edit the footage. If you feel uncomfortable about how a sentence came out, whether it was just phrased awkwardly or you used a lot of vocal fillers and you didn't like that, you can always just go back and refilm. I do recommend refilming the entire sentence rather than just trying to pick up where you left off and mashing it together. It's just gonna, the edit will be smoother if you can go back to the beginning of your phrase and just restate it rather than trying to pick up where you left off. Tip number five is one that is incredibly difficult for me and that is speak slowly, clearly, and loudly. I am someone who naturally is very soft-spoken and I speak very quickly, which I mean is normally fine when I'm just doing day-to-day -day conversation, but that does not convey well on camera. 
speaking softly and quickly is gonna make you look really nervous or just like you lack confidence and that's not what we want in these videos. So it's important to make sure you're projecting your voice, enunciating your words, and speaking slow enough that it's easy to follow. A ton of people, that's their nervous tick. When they get too nervous, their words just pour out of them at a very rapid rate, which don't feel bad if that's you because that's what happens to so many people, but just be aware of it and focus on making sure you're speaking slow enough that people aren't struggling to keep up with your ideas. My sixth tip is to make sure your voice is warmed up before you start filming. This one might sound a little bit silly and you're probably thinking, like, Morgan, I'm not about to go film a stadium tour. I don't need to warm my voice up. And I'm not suggesting you go sing scales or anything, but if you're filming first thing in the morning and you haven't said a word to anyone for like the last 12 hours, it's just a good idea to kind of get the vocal cords moving and comfortable in your own voice. And some people kind of sound like they have a frog in their throat when they wake up. And it can be hard to speak for you know 15, 20 minutes straight if you haven't spoken at all that day. Okay, this can mean several different things. Maybe you're gonna call your mom and have a little conversation with her or go across the house and talk to your roommate. Or if those aren't an option, you could just hum your favorite song or do the choir warm-ups you learned in middle school. Just something so your vocal cords are awake and you're not gonna be like coughing or like scratchy throughout your video. Tip number seven is make sure that you're physically comfortable. And this can mean a little bit of trial and error in figuring out, are you more comfortable filming when you're sitting or standing? And if you like to sit, is it gonna be like a nice, rigid, hard-backed chair to help your posture? Or do you want something a little more comfortable so you feel more comfortable? Like I said, this is trial and error. Just figure out how you can be the most comfortable when you're filming, and that's gonna convey on camera as well. And this goes for what you're wearing as well, and even like the temperature of your home. Just making sure you're in a comfortable environment is gonna help you appear more relaxed. My final tip is to just watch footage of yourself and see what you liked and what you didn't like. A lot of why I used to be so uncomfortable on camera is I'm like, oh, how am I like, portraying myself? How is what I'm saying gonna be conveyed? Because I do think it's a different medium and it's hard to get your ideas across or your intentions across on camera if that's not something you're used to. So whether you've got old footage or you need to just sit down and talk to your camera to get footage, you know, objectively watch it and say, these things were great, but these things were a little bit awkward and make sure you include the great things in future filming and focus on eliminating the things that you felt were awkward. If you know what does and doesn't work when you're recording yourself, you're gonna feel more comfortable because you're gonna have a game plan and you're gonna know what you need to do to create video that you're happy with. Those are all the tips I have for you. I also wanna say it's something that just comes with time as well. The first time you sit down and talk to a camera, it feels uncomfortable, new, maybe a little bit awkward, but the 50th time you do it, it's just part of your routine now, it's natural. It's no different than sitting down and talking to someone you know. So don't kick yourself if you feel like the first time you recorded yourself, you just looked so awkward and uncomfortable. Just keep trying and it'll get easier. But other than that, that's all I have for you this week. Thank you guys so much for watching. Let me know if you have any questions down in the comments or if you wanna see any videos in the future. Otherwise, you can like this video if it helps, subscribe if you wanna see more, and I'll be back next week with another one. Bye guys.